morning. <laughs> it's very windy. Ben is here. We're heading to my friend's house for a gender reveal party. So I've got on a little dress and those little lug sole shoes, but uh, bare legs were not the move today. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> We are back from the gender reveal. We were wrong in our guess. Friend is having a little girl. Very exciting. So that was cute. Got to see some people I hadn't seen in a while. And I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to a meeting tomorrow. So I'm just prepping, making sure I'm all ready for that. And I'll show you around a bit more tomorrow. Hello. Today is Monday always my favorite day. I've got ballet tonight and right now I have my first in-person meeting with some people in the first time in like two years so I'm pretty excited about that and um, getting to actually kind of see some humans. So heading to that right now. I've got my little work bag. I'm wearing those dynamite pants. Maybe I'll show you my outfit after um, and my puppy barley shoes. Feeling very comfy and cozy. It's beautiful, sunny, and nice out, but a little colder today. We'll see how it goes. <gasps> Hello again. It is chilly. I should have put my gloves on, but I just finished up my meeting and then doing a little bit of work. And now I'm heading home to kind of finish up the day. And then, um, I don't know. I don't think there's any too many more plans today. I am doing freelance work right now. So kind of back to the working world, which is really nice. But yeah, so looking home now and it was nice and sunny on the way and it's still blue skies, but it is feeling cold. So winter is coming. With it being like almost mid-November too, which is so crazy. Um, I think it's time to start thinking about Christmas and what I want to get people. If you have any recommendations for anyone in your life, I pretty much have no ideas across the board. Pop them below in the comments or send me uh, the account on Instagram if it's like a brand you love. That would be really cool. And maybe I can share some of those in the next video so that everyone's got some more ideas. All right, too many humans. So red my ears are all cold. <laughs> I think it's toque season. Uh, but before I kind of get comfy and into my cozy clothes, I want to show you what I was wearing for my first human day in a little while, besides seeing friends. So anyway, uh, black turtleneck turtleneck from Uncle Studios. I've mentioned them before. They're out of Toronto. Um, more of a slow fashion, ethical brand. Really love them. And I'm dying to get this in white once I have the budget. Um, just black scarf and then I wore the dynamite pants with um, my poppy barley loafers which I bought a while ago as well I love them but because the leather is so soft it like ripples across the top of my foot when I walk so it took me a little bit to get used to and it doesn't really bother me now but for the price of them I was a little disappointed that that was happening and they mentioned that's something like a lot of people have said um but very comfy they're like wearing socks so you kind of got to just decide what you are willing to pay for anyway that's the look I am back home I've got to finish up a little bit of work and then I am going to eat I am starving Oof, my ears are sore does anyone else get like sore ears from the cold? Ugh, I need to wear two. I was just gonna say, I used my new bag today. Absolutely love it. It is such the perfect size for like a laptop and a water bottle and whatever else you wanna bring. I've got some work to finish up. And then I actually completely forgot I have ballet tonight. I'm getting so mixed up on what day it is. So I actually need to hustle right now, get this done, get some food, and then I'm going to go to ballet and I'll probably check in with you afterwards. I love to do my like post-ballet walk and chat, <laughs> so I'll catch you then. Oh, dark. Daylight savings. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm just parked for ballet class. I think I showed you my outfit. 
I'm excited, wearing something different. I like to do all black, but I couldn't find any of my black today. So we're doing like the brightest, like most bold print that I own. A little bit early for class today has been a really busy day, which is nice. I had my meeting earlier and then did some work um, there and did some work in the morning and then came home, finished up the stuff that was due today. And then I got up my new vlog, so if you haven't checked out the last vlog, that's up and now. I've been a little proud. I've been getting up like one to two pieces a week, which is what I want to keep doing. So I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of been the busiest day I've actually had in a while. And I forgot that I had ballet tonight, which is so wild. So anyway, all good. Very exciting. Happy to be here. And I think it's going to be a really good class. So um, it's always good, I think, after a busy day. I guess it. I just find it so relaxing to take a moment to really tune out absolutely everything and just focus on um, your body and how your body feels and how movement feels and how um, all the little details. That's why I'm enjoying ballet. There's so many little details. So you're trying to, you can't just like, I don't know, it's not like you just jump and you've done it right. It's like you have to first learn how to like point your feet correctly, which I'm still trying to figure out. You have to like spend so much time on all these little details and then as they slowly come together you build something and I think that that is so cool I used to do Ariel silk I think there's some videos way back on this channel well they're probably not that far back because there's not that many videos now but I used to do Ariel silk and those videos are probably from my first month there but I did it for about four years and it was so fun and there were so many details and a lot of the time quite literally your life would be on the line if you did them wrong so you really couldn't focus on anything else but what you were doing in the moment and growing up I grew up very athletic as a competitive swimmer and it was kind of the same like you're it's just you swimming in the water and that's what you have to do um, I'm someone who struggles to just sit and meditate and this is I've always found the absolute best way to do that. So if you're like me, let me know. I am looking for people who'd like to take classes too. So if anyone in the city is like, wants a class friend, I'm pretty much up to try anything. I have some limitations with the shoulder injury. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm going to head in. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a little bit chillier out than what I've worn, but we have to bring everything into the studio and it's like, I can only fit so big of a coat into my bag. Look how dark it is. 7 p.m. Crazy. All right, I'll check in with you after class. <gasps> oh, I wish there was more light at night. Hope you all don't mind this quality. It's kind of like winter in Canada. It's what you get. Ooh. Okay, so today at ballet, we had to learn turns for the first time. And I don't know if I don't know my right and left or <laughs> if I am only good at going front back, but it was a mess, y'all. <laughs> Every other class I've been doing relatively okay. This one, oh man, I'm wobbling, I'm going the wrong direction, I'm falling over. Not falling over, but you know what I mean? So, so funny. I think like with swimming, you just go back and forth. <laughs> I remember this too when I was learning silks, um, aerial silk, just the turning really disorients me. So anyway, I guess I know what I'm practicing in the gym this week. I'm gonna be spinning around like a little weirdo. I was talking today with some people about how learning something new really humbles you. And between the new work I'm doing and this new exercise class, I'm just being very humbled lately. So grateful for that. It's always good to be reminded of how much there is to learn. Okay. Like I was saying, um, that was a ton of fun. It was very humbling, like I said. Um, and I really want to practice more. We usually just go over things once or twice in class. And I'm like, it's not enough. <laughs> I need more. So I'm going to practice that in the gym this week. Tomorrow's a busy day. I've got a meeting. <laughs> Two meetings in one week. It was so funny. Um, I've got a meeting and then work to do for sure. Lots of um, writing to do. So I'm gonna do that and then hopefully hit the gym in the evening and then Wednesday should be, Wednesday or Thursday will be a more chill day, maybe. I don't know yet. I don't totally know how this week's gonna go yet. So I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can, but it might be, um, yeah, this might be like a longer period of vlog. 
anyway that was so much fun i'm on my way home now and i will catch you tomorrow hello greetings from my office i don't think i've ever shown you it not too exciting got my little computer um i used to have like quite a setup in here with my last job but i gave all that stuff back so now it's kind of a clean slate to start again but i like all this like white and gold mouse this one's a little bit dirty and gross but i love this um it's like a leather mouse pad that i got off of amazon or something kind of hurts your wrist though fake plant behind me uh and then my little <laughs> marketing and podcasting pictures that is that oh and that's what I look at it's all my witchiness um just gonna keep working today I think today and tomorrow are gonna be pretty busy um which is great and then otherwise maybe go for a walk later because I've kind of just been sitting all day got Tim Hortons earlier had a meeting it's been very kind of chill and just kind of working away but it's getting very like dark out very early now so I want to make sure that I get some of the the light every day so I might miss it today but definitely tomorrow I am also so so sore from ballet last night even my like shins are sore I don't think I've ever had sore shins before my toes are sore we did all these little like spins and things and uh it yeah I discovered I'm just very uncoordinated <laughs> so I want to get to the gym Maybe later today, actually, that might be good to do and work on that. But otherwise, this is where I'll be. Catch you later. exciting today I spent this morning like looking through stocks and cryptos I'm really like interested in investing I try to be pretty like cautious with it um but I just find it really interesting I mean it's really like gambling but I did read that study that said there was a chimp that just threw darts at a board and it did better on stocks than like top financial people so <laughs> that's kind of my approach this is not financial advice um but anyway every once in a while I like to like every one like month or two I like to just take um I don't know, even like a couple hundred, 50 bucks, a couple hundred bucks, you can do less, um, and just kind of plop them into some different places and see what happens, and so far it's like going well, so all very exciting, and it's probably a better use of my money than me going out and buying like skips today or something, so that's what I've been doing, I'm gonna head down to the gym now, um, trying to just generally improve myself, so I'm gonna go to the gym, I really want to work today on a little bit of cardio, but then work on my balance. I think that's gonna really help me with dance. Um, and my balance is like shockingly bad to me. <laughs> so I wanna work on that. I think I need to look up some videos cause I don't even know what muscles are involved. So anyway, I think I'm just gonna go hover around down there and see what happens. And then I'm pretty sure I have some work coming in later today. So I'm kinda hanging around just to see if that happens to make sure that I get that done. And then otherwise today will be more chill. Tomorrow I'm going to see my friend Becca, and then I think Friday me and some girls are going to go to a movie, so it's going to be a couple of busy nights, so I think tonight's going to be more cleaning, cooking. Oh, Ben and I did talk about maybe going to co-op. So all very exciting, and then, um, yeah, if anything else exciting happens, I'll let you know. Uh, sorry if it's, I feel like a little more boring on this vlog. Maybe not, it's hard to say, I can never remember what I filmed, but it's been a little more bleak outside this week. It's just kind of gray and uh, I just haven't really felt like going out and wandering around a whole bunch. Um, so anyway, that's that. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym, get a little bit of a workout in, um, come back, see if uh, work's come in. And if not, I'm just gonna go about my day until I hear something. And that's kind of the freelance life right now. Works well for me because I'm someone who does well without like a 
really strict schedule. Maybe as you've seen, I'm just always kind of flitting around. <laughs> so I'm happy with it. Hello, I'm back from the gym, had a good workout. I wanted to show you quick something I picked up at Winners and on the look for like a red statement piece. I really wanted boots, but I'm finding I just can't find ones that I just can't find like exactly what I want or the ones I um, am finding are just like so ridiculously expensive. So I really like purses, but I try not to buy them very often. I used to buy them a lot. Um, and then I found so many of them were like trendy styles that I just didn't end up using. And usually I keep them because like trends come and go. So usually they come back in and I want to use them again eventually. But I am looking for pieces that are just classic, timeless, and that I'll be able to use um, anytime and that I'm buying because I love them. So anyway, I found this guy. So, so cute. It's not too wide. Um, and it has space to add a long strap as well. It's not too big. I love the like brass hardware on it. It feels really nice quality. Um, and then I could show you it open. And it just opens like this. So it's not really massive. I think this is going to be a really fun piece for uh, like a girls night out. I think it can be a little fancier or it can be just like a little more dressed down. So I love that. And I know it's something that will it's not like in style or out of style, so I know that it's just gonna last well. The brand is Like Dreams. That's one I haven't personally heard of, which I kind of like because I don't love like a really branded purse. I think again, when you start getting really into brands, you start to fall into trend cycles and it's more likely to go out of style. So stuff like this, that's just like a classic kind of shape, a classic piece. Um, the color of hardware that I like, that will just last me. So. Really excited about that, you'll see her around. Uh, and I just figured I'd share. I know some of you are big Winners fans like me, so go on, hop over, maybe they've got one if you really like it. This was the only one I saw at my location, uh, but they have so many cute things right now. <laughs> someone tell me if I'm like tripping I want to just plug in corded lightning headphones into my MacBook but there's no port for them so I went to buy an adapter and there's no adapters why did Apple make a pair of headphones that are impossible to plug into any of their devices am I crazy what am I doing wrong if anyone knows can you let me know just ran out to Best Buy Whoop. I had just ran out to Best Buy hoping I could find some um to help make like editing a little easier but i guess i can't use the headphones i have and i don't like to use bluetooth headphones for editing uh, in case like delays maybe that's silly okay well that's annoying so i'm gonna have to find some like old headphones that doesn't make any sense why would they make the computers work with the old headphones and not the new headphones i hate apple i love apple but i hate apple also this phone i'm using i got it in november and it's like already no not november i got it in like july i maybe got it in july and it's already having so many issues uh, so over it well i'm gonna go back home now and uh get to work <laughs> okay i've decided to take a little break to make some pierogies and drink more coffee that's the vibe today best buy was a big waste of my time but it was actually kind of nice to get out of the house so whatever so now this is what we're working with <laughs> Friday. I didn't really vlog yesterday because I ended up really busy um, doing some work and then I went out with my friend Becca and honestly completely forgot. We went to Cold Garden because we wanted to see some dogs and uh, there was a very cute basset hound that we met named Angus and then after that we went over to Old Beautiful. I think I have like one clip that I'll put in. They're doing like a really cute apple cider. I didn't totally love it. Becca liked it better. Uh, but if you're looking for like that cozy vibe, it's nice. They've got something other than beer. They do some cocktails there, I think too. I've never tried. So anyway, that was yesterday. Today, now the weekend is beginning, which is very exciting. I'm going out with Ben right now just to go get like some groceries and stuff. And then I'm going to meet up with some girls tonight to go for drinks and then a movie. And that's going to be really exciting. I don't think we'd all gone to a movie together 
yeah, in like probably over a year. So, so that's going to be awesome. And then tomorrow, I think Ben and I are just going to hang out and kind of enjoy the weekend. We have a champagne bottle from Halloween that we never opened. So maybe we'll do that. Um, and that's kind of the plan. This morning I was editing this vlog a little bit and figured I just wanted to add a little bit more. So I think I'll add today in and then that'll be the end of this one. And it's sunny out again. It's been a little bit gloomy, but we're seeing blue skies again. So that's really nice. And and that's pretty much it. I did my hair a little bit different today. I started my curl lower. What do we think? Let me know. I also toned it. It was getting so brassy. I've got an appointment at the end of the month to get it like dyed and cut, but I don't quite know what I want to do. We will see. Everyone's going brunette and it's tempting me, but I spent so much money going blonde that it's like, ah. so anyway, all of that is very exciting. I'm just going to get my stuff together right now and then we're going to head out. Ooh, before I go, I forgot to show you my outfit. So I'm wearing, oh, that's better. I'm wearing this sweater that I wore as like my Halloween costume, but I bought this for real life. <laughs> um, just a little tank and then these wide leg black jeans. That's the fit. It is apparently 15 degrees out and I need to document this for future Morgan when it's like minus 20 <laughs> in a couple months. finished up our groceries and now just going for a little walk by the river as usual uh, to try to enjoy the apparent 15 degrees. I don't think it's quite 15 anymore, but it's really pretty out. Okay, so this little park in the summer, this area I'm in right now turns into basically like a beach. You probably wouldn't be able to tell right now, but all of this fills with water and then like kids and their parents come and swim here because it's not a current like the river. But it's all completely dry right now. The river's over there. Pretty cool.